Hello there and welcome to your iPhone introduction. I want to start by what you should have received in the box. So you should have received one iPhone, one personalized card, set of earphones, one charging adapter, one USB cable and a SIM card. Okay, the SIM card's already installed but we need to have this just in case you have any issues with your SIM card later on. Just want to go through some of the buttons on the iPhone. The iPhone has come with the case installed, so I don't need to go through the case, but the buttons on the case, if you turn the phone to the right hand side, you'll see the power button, the on off button. Okay. At the very bottom of the phone, you'll see two parts to the phone. If I just lift them back, we have one which is the headphone jack, second one which is the actual charging port. Okay. Then if I turn the phone to the other side, we have the volume up and down buttons. Behind the other little clip, we have the uh, mute button. If I turn the phone around to the back, we can see the rear facing camera. Okay. Just to go through the charging of the iPhone, once you pull up the bottom part, the middle bottom part of the cover, all you have to do is get your cable slot it into the bottom of the case and the USB end goes into the bottom of the adapter. To go through the personalized card you should have received, at the very top you should see your name, an email address which also serves as an Apple ID, you should see an Apple ID password, your email password and an iPhone passcode. So as soon as you boot up the phone you'll see that you're going to be asked for a passcode it's written here on your sheet. Underneath that you'll see there's an, a web address that says appleid.apple.com and security questions and answers. We will need to change these from what they are on the card just for security. Okay now back to the phone I just want to go through what you should experience when you first power on your phone. Okay so the power on button just on the side if you tap and hold the phone, tap and hold the button, you'll see the Apple logo power up. Okay, wait two to three seconds and you should see the desktop. Okay, once the iPhone is powered up, we literally need to slide to unlock at the bottom and you'll be prompted for the passcode which is on your sheet. So I'm going to pop that in now and the iPhone goes straight to the desktop to the home screen. So what we need to do now is we need to change your passcode. Okay. So to change the passcode we need to go to settings. So settings which is just down towards the bottom of the screen tap on settings, it opens up and we're looking for passcode. Scroll down on the left hand side you'll see touch ID and passcode in red. Tap on that and what you have to do is you have to put your original passcode which is on the sheet first I'm just going to do that now and then it allows you to change your passcode make sure you use something that you will definitely remember when you were on the home screen if you need to call or get access to your address book you need to tap on the phone application which is selected on screen all your text and voicemail notifications will be sent to your Messages app that is selected now. You can get access to the web by tapping on the Safari app which is selected on screen. You will need to be connected to Wi-Fi before surfing the web. If at any stage you want to come back to the home screen, just select the home button on the front of the iPhone. It is a good idea to take a picture of your personal card using the camera app which is now highlighted. So to change your Apple ID, you need to go to the following web address, which is on your card. So it's appleid.apple.com. So type that into your web browser. Once the page loads, you need to click on Manage Your Apple ID. Once you click on Manage Your Apple ID, you'll have to enter in your Apple ID, which is your email address and the password, which is on your card. Once you've entered those details in, click sign in. You'll come to a new screen which will allow you to now change your password and security questions. 
So on the left hand side of the screen you'll see password and security, click on password and security and then you'll see that on the right hand side you'll have to answer your security questions. The answers to your security questions are on your card. Once you enter those answers into the questions you'll be able to hit continue. Once you get to the next page all you have to do is select new questions and new security answers. Don't hesitate to call the support number which is on the card.